Hey, but it's my book. Good morning, video. Thank you. Thank you. It's my book. It's kids. Kids. Jimmy, there's nothing wrong with your Cheerio box. I don't know, Mario. It looks kind of bloated to me. <sighs> well, that's because you smashed it, Jeffy. Oh, I definitely smashed it. Yeah, you definitely smashed well, it. Well, I guess we're going to have to buy you a new one next time we go to the store. No! No, 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 no! I don't want a new one, Molly! I want this one! This one's special to me! Okay, okay, Jeffy. Mario, how about you try to fix it? I try to fix it? It's all bloated and weird. How am I going to fix it? I guess I can try to push it back into shape. Uh, uh, what, Jeffy, what's in here? What, what's in there, Daddy? Or what's in there now? I don't want to know. Mm -hmm. Daddy, you gotta call the doctor! If it dies, it's all your fault! Well, Jeffy, I'm not calling a doctor. It's already dead. It's a Cheerio box. Oh, look what you did, Mario. Look what I did, either! Yeah. You big Cheerio box right now! Okay, fine, Jeffy. I'll call a doctor. Call a doctor right now, Jimmy! Did somebody call the doctor? Yeah. had kind of a rough day. Some homeless guy called saying his cardboard box was sick. So if I have another box-related medical emergency, I'm going to lose it. Um. Uh, well, my son's cardboard rectangle is uh, bloated. Cardboard rectangle? Okay. Hey, wait a minute. This is a box. You trying to pull a fast one on me? Uh, look, sir, look, look, look. My, my son's really stupid, and he thinks there's something wrong with this Cheerio box. So can you just look at it? What, what, what could be wrong with it? It's a Cheerio box. I, I know, sir, but can you just at least, like, check it out? What? what I, well, wait a minute. What's this? It, but it's hard as a rock right here. Yeah, I, I know. I, I don't understand either. Well, all right. Let me go get something. Sorry about that. Just had to grab my trusty Doc McStuffin stethoscope. Uh, could you talk into this so I know it's working? All right, now that I'm fucking deaf, let's see what we can hear. Uh huh, just like I thought, not fuck. Hold on, I'm getting something here. Uh, I, I, I hear three heartbeats. What one is the throbbing in my eardrums, and there's two heartbeats coming from inside the box. Well, how are there heartbeats coming from inside the box? Well, I I don't know how to say this, but I I think your Cheerio box is pregnant. How could a Cheerio box be pregnant? Mm. Oh, you know how, mommy. <laughs> Jeffy, cow, motherfucker. Jeffy, shut up. <laughs> okay, so if, if, if the cereal box is pregnant, wh what does that mean? Well, uh, it, could, it could go into labor any day now, so we could have a natural birth, uh, or I could give it a C-section and we could speed this whole thing up. I think we should let the Cheerio box decide. Well, the box does have a C on it. Yep, C-section it is. It's okay, baby. I'm here for you. All right. I will now perform a C-section on this Cheerio box with this box cutter right here. Take care of her, doctor. I will. All right, let's open her up. Oh, look at all that afterbirth. Yeah, that is Father Bell's breakfast. All right, let's get on with this delivery. Oh, what do we have here? A beautiful baby boy! A baby boy? I'm gonna name it Push Hole, because it came out of her Push Hole. Well, we got something else in there. Really get up in there. I think I feel it. I think I feel it. Hold on. Uh, a baby girl. <gasps> a baby girl? I'm going to name that one Push Hole 2. Because it came out of a Push Hole 2. Oh, hold on here. Yeah. I, I don't think we're done. But there's another thing in there. Let me get in there. Ugh. Yeah, there's a third one in there. I can kind of see the head. Uh, uh, push, baby, push. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, this one This one looks a little more human. How about I'm going to name that one Jeffy Jr. Because it came yeah. out of a Push Hole. Yeah. Well, here you go, sir. You are now a proud father of three. I'm a pretty proud daddy. Well, yeah. there's no sense in letting all this afterbirth go to waste. <laughs> there's just no way a Cheerio box can be pregnant. I think the doctor knows what he's talking about, mm -hmm. Mario. Hey, Mommy. Oh, hey, Daddy. I mean, push hole one, push hole two, and definitely two. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? Oh, my gosh, Mario. We're grandparents. No, no, no. This does not make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. Mario, you should be happy we have grandkids. Oh, no, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I've got a Cheerio box to be pregnant, and there's no way that thing came out of a Cheerio box. It did. Uh oh, Daddy. Looks like someone took a big shit in their diaper, and so did Jeffy Jr. 
Jeffy, you're a father now. You can't be pooping your pants. It slipped, Daddy. Well, I'm not changing any of you. Shut the fuck up, Jeffy Jr. Jeffy, I think Jeffy Jr. is hungry. Well, what the fuck do you want me to do about it? Look, Jeffy, you feed him food. He's your kid. You have to go feed him. Well, what the hell am I supposed to feed him? Well, what do you eat, Jeffy? Shit. Well, okay. Jeffy, take him to the kitchen and feed him something regular, like something in the pantry. All right, come on, Jeffy Jr., let's go. Jeffy, don't forget your other kids. Mm. All right, kids, make sure you eat all your dinner so you can grow up big and strong just like your dad. Mm. <laughs> Jeffy Jr., why would you do that? You're grounded. You're coming with me. <laughs> Chef BB, can you make me a bowl of cereal? Chef BB, where's Chef BB at? Chef BB? Chef BB, I want some cereal. How do you think Jeffy feeding his kid is going? Jeffy, you can get your ass on this couch. Now don't die on yourself. You think I'm not doing that to you? Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm feeding that ass, Daddy. Because Jeffy Jr. decided to be a fuck while he was eating that. Well, Jeffy, you're not supposed to beat your kids. Well, my mommy beat me. Well, Jeffy, you're supposed to be a better parent, better than your mom was to you. Look, like, uh, okay, if you're going to punish him, why don't you send him to bed? Or, like, like tell him to go to bed. Get your ass to your room! No, fuck! Alright, Jeffy Jr., you lay in bed and you go and sleep. Oh, you want a bedtime story? Okay, I'll tell you a story of Goldie Fuck. But right, once upon a time, there was a girl called Goldie Fuck, and she broke into this house that was owned by three bears. Well, she decided to eat all their food and sleep in their bed and take a poop in their toilet. Well, they got mad and they killed her. The end. Did you poop again, Jeffy Jr.? That's it! Come to the bathroom, we're gonna teach you how to go pot! Alright, Jeffy Jr., you're gonna stay in that toilet until you learn to use it! Cereal-related crime. I'm gonna lose it. There he is, officer. He's eating my kid. Hmm. You monster. Well, I'm just eating cereal. So you're a cereal killer. Oh, I get it. I don't give birth to him earlier tonight. Well, what's going on? Well, you're coming with me, Tully. What? Oh my babies. <laughs> well, you're Jeffy, what's wrong? I'm a bad daddy. Mm -hmm. well, what make you say that, Jeffy? Because all my kids are dead. What? Well, Jeffy, how'd that happen? <laughs> Junior ate bunch hole one and two. Mario wouldn't know anything about that. Well, what happened to the other one? Jeffy Junior's missing, so I think he's dead. Well, well, Jeffy, how about you just take this as a lesson that you're not supposed to have kids until you're older. Look, you were too young to have kids anyway. And also, how'd you get that Cheerio box pregnant in the first place? Daddy, I did not think I was going to have to be the one to tell you this. Hold on, one second. Wait, wait. <laughs> What? Yes, Dad? Yeah. yeah. This is a stink hole. A, a stink hole. <laughs> and this? This is hippo dick. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did not think I was. And this? This is hippo dick. It's <laughs> <laughs> my cousin. What do you do? If you is there a box button it? If I got your box button it? No. I want to what Jeffy did kill the world. Thank you so much for us today. Subscribe to you tomorrow. Good night. Goodbye.